Good morning and happy September 11th. Shit, I did not realize that was what today's date was. Um, it's actually afternoon. It's probably like 12.45 right now. Um, and I know it's been a while, but it's just been crazy. Like, I had a paper due yesterday, and then today's the... It's like the third week of classes. So, yeah, it's just really hectic, and I went home for Labor Day. I just wanted to hang out with my family, because I'm not going to be back again for another couple of weeks. So, from there, it was like almost a month before I was going to be back. So just wanted to hang out with them and I think we finished finally getting the room set up the way we want it so I figured I'd give you a little dorm tour today because I have procrastination <laughs> okay. okay so this is our door um, these are the key hooks I made I got my car keys and my room keys hanging off of mine um, the letters, spray paint, and ribbon are from Michael's Craft Store, and I got the hooks from Target. Then we have um, takeout menus all over the door. And then um, Catherine is either at class or work right now, I can't remember. So obviously her keys aren't here. And then going this way, we have my metal shelves I got from Bed Bath & Beyond last year. And the top shelf, we have my gray tote so in this one i have dishes that one is cleaning supplies and that one is garbage bags and then this shelf is mostly Catherine stuff um all of her like plastic bowls and silverware and stuff and some of her food oatmeal whatever take five is and then we have a couple rolls of um paper towel Okay, and then down here we have a shoe rack. Um, the first two shelves are Catherine's, and then I managed to get all mine onto one shelf just because it didn't fit with both of our shower caddies being here. <clears throat> mine is the teal one, hers is the ready purple one. And then I have my little toothbrush part over there because it was just weirding me out having it so close to the shoes. And then they have a broom back there and Catherine's garbage. Also, there's the garbage that came with the bed, with the room. And then just a little quick overview of Catherine's bed area. Okay, and then we have this tapestry from uh, Amazon right here. And it's being held up with, what are they called? Clothespins. So it's easy up and down for longer breaks as they actually come in to check the rooms. And then we have a thing of fairy lights going around it. Okay, and this is my bed. I have the um, TV remote and a bottle of water <laughs> sitting on them. And then my phone charger and laptop charger. Um, the body pillow itself is from Kohl's. The cover is from Bed Bath & Beyond. That teal pillow is from at home. That pillow is from Ikea and so is the pillowcase over it. And then that big shaggy one is from Bed Bath & Beyond and so is the backrest pillow behind it. And then the pillows I sleep on are both from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. And then my bedding is Kohl's. Okay and then I have my power cord up there and then just all my pictures and some fairy lights and then I have this gold thing that has some pictures on it as well um, and that is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay and then above our window we have another strand of fairy lights and then um, this is my dresser so I have like stuff I wear to bed in the bottom drawer and um, like underwear and stuff in the top drawer. So I have my Keurig and the mug I've been using for the past couple days. I'll probably wash it later today and switch it out. Um, my water bottle, the sugar I use in my coffee, coffee pods, some pictures from um, graduation and prom, my glasses cleaning stuff, two succulents from Target, both of which are fake, and the flowers I made before I came here over the summer with my mom. I have my garbage, then I have two mirrors on my closet, um, not on, 
that's the one I had last year over there in the corner. I'm not sure why it hasn't made its way back to my house yet, but whatever. And then I have an over-the-door one that we bought on move-in day. And up there I have a fan and my printer, um, both of which are off right now because it's about 70 degrees in the room and we don't really need it. Then I have a box from Chegg. Um, on the side of my closet I have three command hooks, two of which are holding headphones. And then the other one is holding my umbrella. Okay, and I have some leftover kettle corn from the carnival we had the other day. Um, okay, and then the desk itself has the TV. I have been watching Colonel Minds today. I only have one class and it already happened, so. Um, and then right here I have all my school stuff, so all my textbooks, my online class, accounting, marketing. The access code for my law class, the novel we have to read for, my, for the law class, and then like my pencil sharpener, uh, holding pens and pencils thingy, a stack of post-its, my, look at that stapler, like, I love it, but it was so damn expensive. Um, then I have a lint roller there just because I can't figure out where I want to keep it, like where it's out and easy to use. Um, okay, on this side I have my makeup mirror that is from, I want to say Bath Bath & Beyond. I got it before coming here last year. And I have this basket from Target that has all of my everyday or most common used, like, cosmetic stuff like my hairbrush, dry shampoo, my favorite perfumes, my favorite lotion, my leave-in conditioner, I don't even know what to call this thing, the pads I use to apply that deodorant and then I, there was enough room to fill my glasses in there. Okay and then down here I have my letterbox. It just has a quote from Gilmore Girls, life's short, talk fast, another succulent from Target. Then I have my um, trinket tray I got from Kohl's. I'm wearing all my rings right now so there's just some earrings on that. And then my glitter jar that we made last year at a floor meeting. Um, and then next to that I have, I don't know, I don't think it's Buddha, but I've just been referring to him as Buddha. If you know who it is, please leave them in the comments below because I feel bad for not knowing. And I have this little wood box that says good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. I feel like that's really important when you're in college just because you don't see a good portion of your friends often anymore, but they're always there. So, and then I have my diffuser, which is plugged into my lamp. And in my lamp, I have the majority of my scrunchies. I think there's like one around my lotion up in the basket. Then I have my fall schedule, um, a little thing like from Valentine's Day. Um, I stole this from Katie, but it says you got this. Then I have a bunch of fortune cookie fortunes and a little pin from Take Back the Night. And then I just have like the notebook for my class today and my laptop sitting here. And my planner is over there. I just kind of shoved it out of the way while I did my makeup today. Um, and then under my bed I have, um an assortment of chips and then in here is my food and these drawers I have lots of stuff like this one is just an assortment of like I don't even know what to call this just it's essentially my junk drawer it's got medicine extra toiletries stuff like that um, and then in the second drawer I have my towels and face wash it what are they called I don't remember what they're called Wash glass, that's what they are. And then I just have like a random cozy thingy and a thing of bubbles because I couldn't figure out where else to put them. In the last drawer I have my second pair of sheets and a box of tissues. And then in my, I have my fridge, it has three magnets. Um, a Wonder Woman. This one was actually in a card from my grad high school graduation. I just put a piece of magnet tape on it. It says, behind every success is effort, behind every effort is passion, behind every passion is someone with the courage to try. Oh, I really like that. 
and then I stole that one from this big black one from my fridge at home. It says, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the number of moments that take our breath away. And then I have my desk drawers over here. I'm just gonna move my comforter a little bit so I can show you what's in them. Um, in my top drawer, I have my purse. I don't know why my wallet's out, but it is. And then a thing of dry shampoo, I guess. And then this is where I keep all my notebooks and stuff. And over here, we have the basket with all of our blankets. And my um, book bag is in there as well. And then Catherine has this bag full of candy for something to do with the club. Yeah, that's just our room this year. We also have a window decal, but it's kind of gross out. I don't want to open the blinds. Um, just a quick overview of what's been happening for the last couple of weeks. My first week of classes wasn't terrible. I left my first law class wanting to drop it. Um, still wish I did, but my mom wouldn't let me. I really like forensic so far. Um, that is just once a week on Mondays, so I've only had it twice because last Monday was Labor Day. Um, then, yeah, the rest of my classes are fine. Like, I don't really hate most of them. Um, I only have one class on Monday, Tuesday, uh, not Monday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday, Thursdays, which is nice. And it's in the afternoon slash late morning. Um, so I get to sleep in. Um, I went home for Labor Day, which is really nice. And it was really good to see my family because I'm not going to be back until homecoming, which is only two weeks away at this point. But I think I was there for like the big first week in September. So it was like... weekend so like two weeks ago almost and um it'll be another two weeks before I'm back so it's about, about a month so I didn't really film much there I probably had a clip of like hey I'm at my house Ooh, but I deleted everything that I hadn't uploaded yet just because I was like I was thinking about taking a longer break but honestly this is probably the only content you're gonna get from me for a little while just while I get settled here I don't know my eyeshadow is doing something. I am currently in the process of rushing Phi Sig, otherwise known as Phi Sigma Sigma. Last night was the first night, and I had class until 7, so I kind of looked like a potato when I got there at 8. Because I was like, okay, I gotta eat dinner, and I gotta, like, drop off my crab, and um, the building where my night classes is kind of far away from my dorm. So, um, yeah. Obviously today I'm going to try and look better. Right now I'm just wearing um, this cropped brandy sweatshirt and then ripped up jeans from, I want to say garage. Um, oh, behind me is Catherine's, uh, my, I don't know, behind me where that like, lamp is is Catherine's desk. Um, I think we're talking about getting fish. Oh, wait having my thumb like this is actually pointing to the right spot cool um so we put the stuffed fish we wanted at the carnival this weekend which i'm going to tell you more about in a second um or where we are going to put the tank just like a hold it kind of thing yeah and then the, um this past weekend we had first fest which is i don't even know how to explain this it's like a carnival Saturday afternoon, and then there's a concert Saturday night. So, the carnival was fun. We um, left the room about half an hour before it started, just to, like walk around and kill time because we've both been doing work all day and we needed a break. Um, and we were there for probably like an hour, hour and a half. Um, Catherine won more than I did. We each got one of those purple fish up there. And then I got this weird watermelon thing. Um, she, let's see if they're just like right here. Yeah, okay. Don't kill me, don't kill me. 
she got like this yo gamma gamma thing and something else and then when we were when we went back outside to wait for the concert to start so we could get good places it was like an hour before there wasn't really anybody there yet so we played one of the games as they were closing up and we both won like a tattoo sleeve thing and um she's gonna give those to her brother next time she's home because neither of us want them and then the concert was hunter hayes which god i love that man he's beautiful and he can sing like a that boy can sing um and fun funnily enough his birthday was sunday and he mentioned it super casually like i still look like i'm 15 wikipedia still probably still thinks i'm 15 but I'm gonna be 27 in a couple hours. And then the crowd just started singing happy birthday. Like, not even a second thought. Like, it was just, I don't know who started it, but we were pretty close up to the front and it wasn't us, I don't know. But, um, and then his opening act came out towards the end of the show with like a cake and shots and stuff. Um, and we sang it again. I also, um, wanted his like, I don't want to say most famous song, but probably is. Um, it's one of his earlier ones. Oh my god, why is there a feather coming out of this pillow? Okay, that's not good. Whatever. Um, so that song came out in, I want to say 2011, so it's been almost 10 years. So, obviously I'm rounding up, it's been seven, but whatever. So it's been a while. Um... I mean, he's kind of fallen off the face of the earth and come back a few times since then. But when it came time for that song, the audience sang it to him. And he looked like he was crying. Like, we were really close to the stage. And it looked like he was crying. And it was super cute and sweet. Because if you don't know the lyrics to that song, is like, I want to wrap you up, want to call you mine, I want to make you feel wanted. So it was like we were serenading him with his own song, and it was super, super sweet. And Sunday while I was doing work, um, I was listening to his music, so I actually knew more than I thought I did at the concert. Um, like, I went into it, like, thinking I would know four, five songs. Um, this was a free concert, so I wasn't, like, worried, like, about not knowing anything. I was like, oh, it'll be fun. But, um... I knew a lot more than I thought. So I was listening to his music, like, sh I just shuffled the, him on Spotify, and everything from his first album is a love song, like, Wanted, or I Want Crazy, or, I don't know, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, but everything from his most recent album is like, I've had shit luck with love, boy, I'm still an optimist, and I'm like, I just burst out laughing when I realized that. I don't know, it was the funniest thing to me. I was like, so you were in a happy relationship when the first album came out, and then something very wrong happened in between that and the most recent one. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, and yesterday started the brushing process. I had class from 10 to 12 and then from 2.30 to 7.05 we got out like 20 minutes early from the other class just because we were watching a DVD of CSI for a paper that's due next week and of course I kept dropping my pencils and the girl next to me eventually stopped picking them up for me so I didn't get to take notes on the DVD so when I finish this episode I'm going to see if CSI is on Netflix. I have the general gist of the episode, like, and he said he only has the season one DVDs, so. If it's on Netflix, it should be easy enough to track down what episode it was. But, um, yeah, I had a paper due yesterday for law based on the movie Aaron Brockovich, which was good, but, like, it was, like, opinion piece on the characters it had nothing to do with the law involved and I'm so confused as to why but whatever um yeah so that's just what my life's been like for the last couple of weeks I have night two of rushing tonight 
and I'm probably gonna try and figure out what the hell my in class accounting thing yesterday was just because like he was like if you don't finish it that's fine just bring it in on Wednesday so I gotta figure it out um I got about a third of the way done with it in class but um yeah that's just what's gonna happen I'm gonna finish this episode of Criminal Minds I already did my makeup but I'm probably gonna touch up this because it looks really red on camera um, I'm probably getting changed before I go tonight because last night I went in leggings, a, a new hoodie, and yeah. Also, me and my roommate live next to the showroom for um, tours. So Saturday morning there was an open house and I was in the lounge working out a paper and um i came back like back wanted to go back to the room to get uh, like a highlighter or something and like maybe like a bottle of water i don't know um and i opened the door because i closed it so people didn't stare at me because people stare into the lounge when they walk by um and i opened the door and there's just like a giant tour group right there and like of course i had no idea because i had headphones in like, I couldn't hear any of them, so I'm just like, oh, crap. And then some woman was like, oh, that must be the lounge. I'm like, yeah, lady, I'm not coming from the nowhere. So I had to stand there holding the door open for, like, ten minutes while people walked by and, like, gawked at the room next door to ours. And, um, then I got to come back in here. So yeah, that's my little room tour. It's nothing special, but I think it works for us. If there's ever any updates, like anything changes drastically, like we move the furniture around or whatever, I will probably update you. But we'll see. And I honestly don't know when the next time I'm going to talk to y'all is. Just because I have so much going on school-wise and of course that in the middle of the rushing process so I'm trying to get into Phi Sig um and there was a crazy woman at our door last night but there's just a lot going on so I genuinely don't know when the next time we'll talk to y'all is so I will see you same place who knows when bye guys